It's gonna suck. Okay. Well, welcome back. Tomorrow on Lake Minnetonka, thousands are expected to gather around the shores in the celebration of the Bold North and man's best friend at the Klondike Dog Derby. We have Bethany Hawaii is the race uh, founder and president, and we also have Joanna Oberg here, and she is a musher who will be competing with her team. And who do we have here? This is Nikita. She's Hi, one of my Nikita. lead dogs. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. <laughs> so watching a dog sled race, you always think, oh gosh, I have to go up to the Bear Grease, I have to go to the Iditarod. I know, you know, right? Right in Excelsior, you can watch this tomorrow. Yes. yes. Right. So how long has this been going on? Uh, so this is our inaugural uh, that's year. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah we've first been year. planning it for two years, but this wow. is our very first year. Okay, wonderful. I thought it, I thought it might have started last year. So the yeah. first year, the first time this is going to happen. So if you've never seen a dog race before, a dog sled race, this would be really exciting. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Urban machine at its finest. <laughs> How many dogs will be pulling each sled? It's an eight dog race, so we'll have eight dogs. Okay, and that's typical, right? I usually race tip typically eight to ten, but okay. there are all different classes and sizes of different that's races. That's wonderful. And so. you were just at Bear Grace, is what I understand. I was. How'd that go? Um. Not the greatest, but we did win the Klondike, uh, the um, Gunflint Mail Run oh, uh, earlier this winter with the eight dog race. But we did place fourth at Bear Grease. Well, congratulations! So, yeah, we had a great finish despite some difficulties on the trail. <laughs> and I understand there's nearly half of the of the mushers are women this year. That's right. We well, like to call it an equal opportunity sport. <laughs> so you are going to see a lot of women out there, um, including a 65 year old grandmother of six who was an elementary teacher in Excelsior. Oh, how and fun. she will be racing here this weekend. So big oh, age range. That's yeah. exciting. Okay, so it, what time does it start tomorrow morning? The race starts at 10 a.m. At 9:30 is our opening ceremony, <laughs> and then there will be viewing all afternoon. The first team will probably get there at like 12:30 or 1 o'clock for okay, the finish. For the finish. And then there will be a couple more hours of teams arriving. And how long is the race? The race is about 40 miles. 40 miles, okay, yes. and, and you were saying the best viewing will be right in the shore commons of Excelsior or right on the main drag because yes, that's where it's going exactly. to finish and end. And they're going to circle by the uh, commons there a couple of times. Yes, exactly. So, and then take a shuttle because it's going to be pretty busy. And they did just change the route, and there's the route, as you can see, basically all across the lake. That'll be phenomenal from a lot of uh, positions, but uh, Excelsior will be the hub of activity. Absolutely. And then there's yeah. going to be a post party at Excelsior Brewing, we understand. That's right. Yes, come on down. We'll have a band. It's going to be a blast. OK, in the afternoon. Well, good luck. And you know what? It's going to be snowing. Is that going to, what's that going to do? <laughs> Well, we train in all kinds of conditions, so we just take what you get on the day. Well, warmer than so, right now. How about yes, that? But yes. it will be snowing tomorrow <laughs> yes. morning for the race. So yes. a beautiful be spot. Beautiful. Yeah, that That's will be a right. great visual. Yes. Well, congratulations on getting it done, and uh, good luck in the race. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so for, much. <laughs> thank you for coming out. We so yes. appreciate it. And it goes to charity as well. There's two uh, charities that are going to profit from this, so that's wonderful as well. And if you want to see the dogs today, you can go to Fletcher's, and they're actually going to have veterinarians checking all the dogs out today. So if you want to meet the dogs, head over to Fletcher's today. But again, it all starts tomorrow. You can see that uh, the timing there, opening ceremonies at 930. And Care 11 is a sponsor of this. And uh, the proceeds from the race go to Can Do Canines and Adopt a Husky Minnesota. And you can learn more on care11.com.